Hello. It's been a little bit since my last upload. Wait. Three months? Bruh. I thought it was like maybe three weeks, but uh, no, yeah, it's been longer than I thought. And I came to realize that I never decided to rank every race in Final Fantasy on a tier list. This video is about the male races in Final Fantasy, and I will do a separate video about every female race because I generally would rank them differently on the tier list. Here it is. We have Peak, S, A, B, C, D. These other names are prone to change once I think of something funny. Starting with the first race that you see when you click on this game, there's two different variants I have to go through, Midlander and Highlander. Personally, I like Highlander a little bit more if I were to play this race, which I've never played it because, uh, yeah. I've only met and talked with a couple heroes. And I'm gonna be honest, this race is still a little bit mysterious to me. But all things considered, I think this race was made to be like the average race of this game. So I'm just going to slap it in the originally B tier and now mid slash average tier. And just based on the fact that if I were to choose this race, I would choose Highlander over Midlander. I'm going to put Highlander at slightly above mid. So next up on the list, we we have Elizin, and we can choose between Wildwood or Dusk White. Personally, I would probably go with Wildwood. Dusk White, the default one at least just reminds me of Avatar, and no, not the Airbender. I'm talking about the Bluefish people. All in all, not a bad race. I don't not like it. I don't know if I would pick it ever, but we do have a pretty good specific NPC in the story who shall not be named for no reason and yeah sometimes characters in the story can influence my decision here but one thing i'm almost completely confident of is when i used to be really active in this game i believe i've only spoken to and like befriended a single male elizin in this game most of them play female or either i just don't see the male ones i don't know if they're unpopular or if i'm just blind and i don't mean to take shots at all but i feel like maybe the elf like race for this game could have been delved into a little bit more because elizin are basically just taller heroes with points ears and that's really the only difference there's one thing i like about world of warcraft a little bit more is that the races are more diverse but i still play this game over wow because every other reason so on the tier list i believe this is the right one i'm gonna put wildwood at pretty good i'm just gonna add a little language there could use improvements and then i'm gonna put the dusk white i i guess right under it i don't see a reason to put it at slightly above mid i think these are the right ones i'm supposed to be looking at so next we have lalafell and this one is confusing because i've met a few lalafell players who have been extremely wholesome. Most of the time, Lalafell players really play into it, and it's just kind of goofy and funny to look at. But at the same time, I'm no EDP, I'm no Ava Chris Tyson, allegedly, and I hate children. So I, when I see these things, I just want to kick them as far as I can, like most people will say. It's just the truth. It is a primal feeling of just needing to kick this thing like a football or a soccer ball, depending on what you like. <laughs> so because of that fact, whether it is Plains Folk or Dunes Folk, I, I don't really know what the difference is. I don't read into the lore, but I'm going to put them into Angry Child tier, even though most Lalafell players I've met are not that angry of people. And now we have Makote, and this is where it gets a little controversial. We have Seekers of the Sun, Praise the Sun, and then we have Keepers of the Moon, Edgy. Dark. Once again, don't really know the difference between the two. It's probably just a lore. Uh, physically, they don't seem to look very different. I would assume that maybe some like color changes are applied, but uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to put them away from each other. I do kind of wish that some other races had the thing that here has where like one variant actually like looks physically different than the other in multiple ways. But yeah, this is a little bit of a controversial one, man. Like I <laughs> would rate female Makote higher than male ones, I think. We do have a specific character in the story who I I really like though but am i gonna let that influence my decision no and am i going to put a single race in the peak i'm not sure <laughs> yeah no this list is just fun i'm considering putting the meow meows at either slightly above mid or pretty good or i could just slide them all the way down here man i don't know okay you know what i'm gonna be a bit more realistic with this list and a bit less opinionated i don't think that mikote males could have anything really added to them maybe there's something that i'm missing but i know that their emotes are pretty good they're fitting and overall it's the race that most people pick in this game obviously for a reason or maybe multiple reasons so objectively i'm just going to slap them in no flaws question mark because i don't even know if they have any that like people really want changed about them however i do know that elizin get made fun of for the giraffe necks and the fact that they run around looking constipated all the time so that's why they're not in no flaws aka peak what it used to be now we have roganin which is the most stanced up squared up race in the entire game they have crazy posture but it's almost to their detriment like whenever i see a roganin walking around it, it just this looks like a walking rectangle like they are so stiff and for that reason i 
just don't think I would even choose the race. Like, I'm not a huge fan of their animations, I guess. Besides that, I mean, maybe just more face options and more facial hair options, stuff like that. Because I do feel like a lot of races in this game are lacking in those aspects. And it ends up where a lot of people end up looking basically exactly the same besides color differences. So hopefully at some point we do get like an overhaul of a bunch of different faces for most races. But that's probably not going to happen. So we have Sea Wolves and we have... Hellsguard. Uh, I, I don't really know the difference. I'm sure it's just colors and lore, of course. All in all, I think I could put Rogadin in pretty good. I don't really see any major problems besides what I mentioned are like little nitpicks for me. Now we got Aura, the most edgy race in the game, at least when it comes to the males. The difference here is drastic. What this kind of reminds me of now is basically the human form of the new race in World of Warcraft, like Drakthir, I think it's called. Maybe if there's like another form to it or maybe just, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I would like to be added to this race, but like that that's kind of how it is for me. Like I look at every other race and what I see most of the time is just like a taller version or a shorter version of something else. And then you just slap on some like $15 corn or a tail or ears that you found at Walmart. I have talked with a few Auras. However, most of them that I see out there are the female ones. That's one of the most common races in the entire game. I don't know if they have any like direct flaws though. I mean, I can nitpick all I want, but okay, this just looks like Sonic the Hedgehog if he was on drugs. So just because of this default visual here, I'm going to drop that one down a little bit. So in my tier list, let's see. Uh, the blue one I'm guessing is, is this one. So I'm gonna put that one here. And then I'm going to put the, the one I'm looking at right now above it because, bro, I don't know what's going on here. Now we have the race that I play. Wow, no way. Instantly no flaws, right? Wrong, bro. I don't know how many years this race has been in the game, but bro, new outfits keep coming out. And every time this race cannot wear them, I don't get it. I would think that the new content added to the game would like be the first priority of what would be optimized for this race. But new shit keeps coming out. I look into like buying it or going and getting it. But I still can't wear those hats. I still can't wear other things like that. I know Viera kind of has the same problem. It's also with like hairstyles. It takes literally six plus months or upwards of years just to get an extra hairstyle mesh put on these things when one person modded every single one of them into the game. Either way, uh, enough complaining. We have Hellions or Helions. I don't even know, man. This is the one that I play, I think. Yeah, because the loss has this goofy horn. <laughs> I mean, I know you could take the horn off, but I saw that when I was creating my character for the first time and I was like, uh, no thanks so i chose this one i think what i really like about it is it's the only race in this game that is not just like a taller or shorter version of here with like some clip-ons put on them it's an actually like completely different fantasy race in this game and it's the only one but uh that being said i think that these guys can uh man yeah i know it's kind of tough like I, I think i just want to put them in the same tier as most of these other races and then we still have this c tier which i'm just gonna put what what the fuck because i don't know what the hell this thing is right here <laughs> now the opposite of rothgar uh male viera were added later than female ones these guys are maybe potentially a little edgy but most of the time i see them wearing like skimpy outfits so that's what i think the primary audience is for these these races, I guess. I mean, I know it's just Final Fantasy. That's how it is probably in every other game. I personally haven't played the other games, so I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that's how it is where the races are just, you know, you, you take somebody, make them tall, throw the bunny ears on them. Don't even give them a bunny tail. Like it is uh, brutally similar to just being a taller human with like a better jawline. That's mostly what it comes down to. And then also obviously different animations, but yeah, I, I just feel like a lot of the races in this game are a little uninspired. Big complainer over here, but uh, yeah, I know that that Viera also have the hairstyle problems. I'm not sure about the hat problems that R Rothgar have, but uh, yeah, obviously that's going to bring them down a few tiers. I would probably rate female ones higher just because I feel like the race is better suited for female in this one. So I'm going to put them probably like slightly above mid, I would say maybe above uh, this thing. <laughs> I could even move Highlander here up here just because it's actually like more unique. Like if we look at the stature of most of the races here, they're they're kind of similar. You know, there's not, they're just taller and shorter for the most part. I was in a bit thinner though but then there's also Viera who are like kind of close to that i don't know man more customization would be great so then every race can just be a lot more diverse like if we go look at highlander again it's uh i mean it's not incredibly different i'm not gonna lie <laughs> this is more similar to like the all raw default so yeah i'm gonna keep it where it is so yeah let's shoot for i don't know 100 likes so then i can rank the female versions and uh, that's gonna do it subscribe let's reach 10 million subscribers i'll see you later have a good night also i forgot about this version it's gonna be the same tier <laughs> bye